Hola a todos, bienvenidos a mi canal Y bueno, vamos a empezar hoy con el juego de Dragon Quest Pues vamos allá King Erwin, it is a great honor to be invited to celebrate this most special of days with you. The birth of your son and heir is a source of great joy and happiness to us all. Congratulations, your majesty. Thank you. Thank you. Aye, this is a momentous day for Dundrasil. I am truly humbled to be lucky enough to celebrate it with you all. My dear Sultan, King Gustav, allow me to welcome you both to Dundasil. You honor us with your presence. The honor is all ours, King Erwin. Truly, it has been far too long. A thousand thanks for preparing such lavish festivities. Though, of course, we are not here merely to celebrate. Today's colloquy of kings shall determine the fate of Erdrea for generations to come. I, for one, mean to see that my people's interests are well represented. You will forgive me if I grow a little passionate at times. It is the first time the rulers of the Four Kingdoms have ever gathered under one roof, you know. A momentous occasion indeed. But the reason itself is a momentous one, of course. The birth of an heir to the title of Luminary is an event of unparalleled significance. Indeed it is. Thank you once again for agreeing to meet so readily. Now, I have some final preparations to make before we convene the colloquy. I will come and fetch you when we're ready to begin. Guards, I don't suppose any of you have seen Kin Carnelian? Yes, sire. Ken Carnelian is walking the grounds with Lord Robert, sire. Carnelian, Lord Robert, I will be convening the colloquy shortly, if you'd like to make ready. Lord Robert informs me that the boy bears the mark, that he is the luminary reborn. That's right, I. I've decided to present him to you all at the colloquy. The sight of so many people gathered to celebrate his birth has brought home to me how important he is. How much hope the light he brings represents. Save it for the meeting, Owen. Don't take it to heart, laddie. The fate of all Erdria hangs in the luminary now. Not everyone's going to be happy about that. Right, it's nearly time. Why don't you go and fetch the wee one from Eleanor's chambers?
Lady Eleanor, I promise I'll be careful. <laughs> I think he likes you, Jade. He wants to play. <laughs> He's a very special boy, you know. They call him the Luminary. People have all sorts of hopes for him. But I just hope he grows up to be like his father. That he can help people to overcome their problems. Just as Erwin does. I hope he grows up to be nice and kind like you, Lady Eleanor. <laughs> <laughs> Colloquy's about to start, Eleanor. Will you hand me the wee one? All right, wee man. Let's go and talk to some scary old men, shall we? Don't worry. Daddy will look after you. You don't need to hold on to him so tight, you know. Let the poor boy breathe. <sighs> Would you look at it thundering away out there? And on such a special day too. It's making me feel uneasy. Come on now, Helena. There's nothing to worry about. We'll keep you safe no matter what, won't we, wee man? Dad's a force to be reckoned with, and no mistake. <laughs> right. We better get this meeting started. I'll see you later, Elena. Good luck, both of you.
this child, he is the one? He bears the mark. There's no mistaking it. Dark one riseth, tree descendeth, luminary, man defendeth. Light's mark shineth, hand extendeth. With his coming, black night endeth. The final poem in the Book of Erdwin. The legends tell us that the Dark One was defeated by the Luminary in the Age of Heroes, bringing eternal peace to the world. But, as I'm sure you haven't failed to notice, monsters walk the land once more. The peace of Erdria is under threat. The kingdom of Svardzrost has already fallen at the wicked creature's hands, and King Arnut with it. You will be sorely missed. And now a child has been born who bears the mark, which brings us to a reason for gathering here today. What does all this mean for Erdria? Speak of the Dark One, of monsters running wild, of the peace of centuries crumbling. But surely, the birth of the child signals an end to our woes. Now that the Luminary is among us, the balance can be restored, the peace can be maintained. All is well, is it not? <laughs> You believe that the presence of the Luminary will ensure that peace prevails. Can you be certain? Forgive me, Lord Robert, but the Book of Erdwin contains another poem concerning this matter, does it not? It does. The very first poem. The prophecy, world tree's gift, first of many, bold, bright, blessed luminary. Thy light doth a shadow cast. Lo, the dark one, bleak, black, vast. What are the two of you implying? that the Luminary causes the appearance of the Dark One. Without light, there cannot be shadow. Without darkness, the stars cannot shine. This has always been the way of the world. Darkness and light must coexist. So, indeed, the birth of the Luminary may well be what causes the Dark One to awaken. imply that my son is somehow the source of our troubles, that the Luminary isn't a force for good.
Can we be certain that he is? Evil does not always take a monstrous form, after all. You must have noticed the sinister glow emitted by Erdwin's lantern of late. Ever since your child was born, in fact. What are you trying to... The star sings at night, you know. I, I have heard it. It sings of Erdria's destruction. King Gustav is right. Ah, oh, don't you start. Ominous footsteps approach. We all hear them. As the leaders of this world, we owe it to our people to root out even the slightest hint of evil at its source. Even when that source is painfully close to home. Why don't you just come out and say it? You're asking me to kill my own son! My own flesh and blood! Something happened, not long before the child was born. I'm sure some of you saw it. A great, blinding light shot up from Yggdrasil and set the sky aglow. For a moment, it seemed that night had become day. We saw that same light on the evening he was born. It was shining from the mark on his hand. The child is a force for good. I have never been more certain of anything. He did not give rise to the darkness. He was sent to drive it out. Light and dark are not two sides of the same coin. The light of the luminary is a gift. A rousing performance indeed. <laughs> of course, if you had shown even a witless conviction, we would have had no choice but to remove the child from your care. The Luminary is the child of Yggdrasil. He alone can bring light to the world. He must be protected at all costs. I 
hope you will forgive us our little test, but we had to be sure how strongly you believed. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> I am satisfied. Send him to Heliodor when he comes of age. He will be trained in all that he will need to fulfill his destiny. We must confer upon the Luminary the power to lead us all. King Carninian. Everyone. I... I don't know what to say. Ah, very good. The most pressing item on our agenda is dealt with, and it ended just as I knew it would. <laughs> now the matter is settled. Our kingdoms are united in their purpose. <laughs> Let all be as Yggdrasil wills it. That concludes the colloquy. Now, all that remains is to introduce the luminary to his adoring public. Hmm. Thank you, King Carnelian. My friends, I'd like to thank you all for coming. Now, dear... Uh, your Majesty! Huh? Uh, uh, what is it? You must flee the palace immediately. Monsters. Hundreds. Hundreds of monsters. We're under attack. Everyone, we have to get out of here now. Come in force, but they shall not have the child. Lord Robert and I will keep them at bay. Take Eleanor and the child and flee the castle. Now! But King Carnelian, this is suicide! You need not fret on my behalf. I am not in my dotage just yet. Now go! Thank you. Monsters coming. We feared the worst for you both. Never mind that now. We need to get out of here, all of us. Come on. Your 
matter what happens, I will get you out of here. I promise. Let's go. should be able to get out through here. If they've made it this far around the castle, they must have the place surrounded. We'll have to use the tunnels. This way. In we go, before the monsters find us. Thank you. 
And stay down. Right. Time to get after Eleanor. <laughs> King Carnelian? Over here, Your Majesty! King Carnelian? What in the... Uh, uh, Who are you? What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Your Majesty! <laughs> Erwin, is that you? What happened? Is everyone safe? You're all right. Thank goodness. Jade's with Eleanor and the Wee One, Your Majesty. They made it safely out of the castle. I see. Good. Very good. I shall send my forces after them right away. Your Majesty, what do you... <laughs> the bloodline of the luminary ends here today. The Carnelian, Your Majesty. Sire! Forgive me. I was unable to find you. I thank the heavens that you are unhurt. <gasps> King Erwin! What has happened here? I had no choice. He came at me in a frenzy. Queen Eleanor has absconded with the Luminary, and with my daughter. Surely not. Whatever would possess them to commit such acts? The birth of the child has put them both under great pressure. It has also caused the coming of the monsters, the loss of countless lives. Perhaps the coming of the Luminary does bring darkness in its wake. After all, without him, this tragedy would never have come to pass. Yes, I see now. He is not our savior. He is the harbinger of the night to come. The child of evil, the dark spawn. He must be found and dealt with. The peace of Erdria must not be permitted to collapse. Find him. Leave no stone unturned. Sire. Someone, please. King Carnelian must be stopped, or the world will be plunged in, into darkness. Eleanor, please, forgive me. I was too weak. I am.
am the gloom nevore. I devoured, and this one's misery is just exquisite. His kingdom ruined, his family gone, betrayed. Which is why I've been drawing out his torture for all these years. One must savor such succulent, but even the most fabulous feasts must come to an end. How does your despair compare, I wonder? Hold still while I sample its delights. Give yourself to misery. Let anguish consume you. This is your most painful memory. The darkest, tenderest recess of your soul. It is waiting, biding its time, but it is there, and when it shines forth, it will illuminate the world. Now is that time. You are the luminary. You must conquer the darkness. You must. with us, laddie. Are you all right? <sighs> this light. Disgusting. It blinds me. It fills my mouth. It tastes of hope. This is the beast responsible for King Erwin's suffering. We must defeat it and lift his majesty's curse. <sighs> you dare disturb me while I prepare to sample the next delicious morsel of misery. No matter, your screams of agony will surely whet my appetite. <laughs>
give in. Eyes. I'd know them anywhere. Son, is it really you? It was you who saved me, wasn't it? Back to your old self at last. Oh. Our son has freed you. Despair no longer holds you captive. You are free to join me after all these years. I am, my love. I am.
My dear son, my darling boy, many hardships await you, many trials lie ahead, but you must not stray from your path, you must not falter, let the light of hope, the light inside you, be your guide, and remember, we will always watch over you. Farewell, my darling. I love you so much. Goodbye, my little one. Goodbye, Erwin. I hope both of you find peace at last. <gasps> Honey, your hand! Mark, it's glowing again. Your powers, they're back! The Luminary is restored to us, and all thanks to his honored parents. Bueno, espero que os haya gustado este nuevo vídeo y si os ha gustado, darle a la campanita, suscribiros, dale a me gusta y bueno, y nos vemos el próximo día. Hasta la próxima. Adiós.